Hi everyone, I'm Etrin. Today, in honor of World Read Aloud Day, I'm reading aloud a little golden book about Oprah Winfrey. She is a legend and I'm so excited to teach you all about her through Leah L. Agostini and Tara Nicole Whitaker's book. Oprah Gail Winfrey was born on January 29, 1954 in Kuskiosko, Mississippi. Her mother, Vernita, named her Orpa, but people kept calling her Oprah. The name stuck. When Oprah was very young, Vernita moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin to find better paying work. Oprah stayed with her grandparents on their farm. She ate fresh vegetables and made friends with the chickens. Oprah's grandmother taught her to read when she was only three years old. Oprah loved books. We have that in common. They showed her a world outside her Mississippi farm. Soon she was giving speeches and reciting Bible verses at church. On the first day of kindergarten, Oprah realized she knew a lot more than the other children in her class. Oprah wrote her teacher a note. It said, I do not belong here because I know a lot of big words. They moved her to first grade. I gotta say from the beginning, these illustrations are amazing. When Oprah got a little older, she lived with her mother and younger half-siblings in Milwaukee. They didn't have much money, and life there was hard. One Christmas, some nuns came to her house and gave her and her family food and toys. The nuns made Oprah feel special. She decided that she would help others like that someday, too. Oprah's high grades helped her become one of the first Black students to attend a school in the wealthy part of town. But Oprah soon started misbehaving. So in high school, Oprah went to live with her father, Vernon, and her mother, Zelma, in Nashville, Tennessee. Life was different there. Vernon was strict and made sure Oprah did well in school. She followed her dad's rules, worked hard and made many friends. At 17, Oprah won the Miss Fire Prevention Beauty Pageant. When she picked up her prize at the Nashville radio station, a DJ heard her speak. He knew her voice was special and he hired Oprah to read the news as an after-school job. She loved reading out loud and now she was being paid to do it as well. 1971, Oprah went to Tennessee State University. Two years later, while still in college, she became a news anchor on television. She was Nashville's first black female news anchor and at just 19 years old, she was also the youngest. Oprah presented the 10 o'clock news, but her father still made sure she was home by 11. Oprah is already becoming a phenom. What's she gonna do next? Though Oprah was near graduation, she decided to leave college for a job as a reporter and news anchor in Baltimore, Maryland. One day there was a snowstorm. A production assistant named Gail King couldn't get home safely, so she stayed at Oprah's apartment. They instantly became best friends. Oprah was an excellent news anchor, but she didn't hide her feelings. Sometimes when a story was sad, she would cry. Her boss didn't like that, but a new boss realized Oprah's emotions were a good thing. She could connect with others. He made her co-host of a talk show called People Are Talking. Audiences loved Oprah. Just a few years later, Oprah moved to Illinois and became the host of her own talk show called AM Chicago. Again, Oprah was a hit. One fan was a producer named Quincy Jones. He asked her to act in his movie, The Color Purple. As a child, Oprah had admired beautiful black performers like Sidney Poitier and Diane Carroll. So this was a dream. She played the role of Sophia so well, she was nominated for an Academy Award. Good for you, Oprah. In 1986, the Oprah Winfrey Show, as AM Chicago was now called, was shown across America. That same year, Oprah started Harpo Productions. Harpo was Oprah spelled backward, and she became the first black woman to own a TV studio. Oprah worked hard to make her show great. She talked with regular people and famous people. She had fun road trips and awesome rock concerts. She also shared secrets about herself. Her show was so popular because Oprah made everybody feel special. That's so important, even if you're not a TV show host. You have to make everybody feel special. Everybody feel seen. Oprah was famous, just as she had dreamed. But not everyone was nice to her. 
Sometimes people made up stories about her past or said unkind things about how she looked. Thankfully, Oprah has people she could trust, including her best friend Gail and her partner Stedman Graham. Oprah's fans trust her opinion on just about everything. Oprah loves reading, just like me. So she started a book club. Many of the books she recommends became bestsellers because so many people want to read what she's reading. Some fans even wanted her to run for president. Oprah wasn't interested in that job, but she spoke highly of someone who was, a rising politician named Barack Obama. Change we can believe in, that was his slogan. People listened. Obama was elected president twice. Woo. Oprah's hard work has earned her a lot of money, and her big heart has led her to share her wealth in many ways. Once, she gave an entire audience brand new cars. Education is very important to her as well, so she has given millions of dollars to help start and support schools. In 2007, she opened the Oprah Winfrey Leadership Academy for girls in South Africa. The students there are all very smart girls from families without much money, just like Oprah was. Oprah is doing incredible things. So awesome. In 2011, after 25 years and 4,561 episodes, Oprah ended her beloved talk show. But she's still as busy as ever. She continues to interview celebrities, produce and star in movies, oversee her media platform Oprah Daily, run her own television network, OWN, and support numerous charities. When she's not working, Oprah enjoys spending time with her family and friends in her beautiful homes, taking long walks with her fur children, She's had more than 20 dogs throughout the years and curling up with the good book. I think about the good book is the best. Oprah never forgot how special she felt when those nuns helped her family so many years ago. Now, she uses her gifts to help make millions of other people feel special too. The end. This is such a sweet picture book and also an empowering one as well. Oprah used her influence to make the world a better place. What can you do to make the world a better place? Just like Oprah Winfrey. Bye bye.